This is Joseph Coco. I'm at Memphis Comic and Fantasy 2014 on behalf of Becky Holborn's Art Process Blog. Keep on trucking, Nata Soup. If you could introduce yourself, Callie. Hi, guys. I'm Callie Cosplay, and I'm a customer from Orlando, Florida. Okay, and what's bringing you to Memphis? Well, Memphis, I, first of all, I really like Memphis. So I was interested in coming to a Memphis convention. I travel across the United States and I go to conventions. And being originally from Alabama, uh, I was really interested in just a uh, mid-southern to southern convention scene. So I yeah. really like to, to go to these different places. And I found this convention online, and so I, I applied there. I sent them my press package, and the, the owner, Joe, was really interested in me, so we talked, and yeah, that's why I'm here. Yeah, this isn't an anime convention per se, but there is a lot of interest in anime, lots of people cosplaying, so it seems like a great fit for you. Um, would you say that the convention has done uh, done its uh, due diligence in promoting uh, cosplay at the convention, or is that something that the fans just bring with them? I think that's something the fans bring with them. This is a newer convention, so I think the, cos they're, they're, the convention is more so getting into promoting cosplay. Mm -hmm. They've had a few cosplay guests here this year, and I think I think they mentioned they had a couple last year, but I think that's something that will progress over time. For the most part, the fans definitely do bring the bulk of the cosplay. Okay. And um, how do you uh, kind of scope out a convention when you're considering going to it? Uh, just a general convention, not necessarily specifically Memphis. Well, really, I really make sure to... I, first of all, I love Southern conventions, as I said before. Yep. And I really prefer the smaller to medium conventions. Right, so you're not going to Dragon Con or anything because yeah. you're going to be overshadowed. Exactly. Well, yep. not for that reason. I just like the more personable conventions where you can have one-on-one -on -one time with someone and just really like have a conversation with them and get to know people. Like that, that vital connection is really good for networking and stuff like that. And to really, I like to do panels and talk about anti-bullying and stuff like that. So I feel like talking to a smaller group of people it definitely goes with a more personable feel. Okay. And um, I noticed you've been given advice to a lot of fans. Like I said, there's a lot of people cosplaying here, and it seems like almost everyone is interested in it. Uh, can you tell me how you go about to um, uh, bridging from giving advice to fans to trying to convert that to a sale, uh, either um, through some of your prints, or do you do, you do um, photo shoots as well, or is it just for yourself? I do photo shoots. Um, okay. I actually am getting into photography myself, but as right. a model, when, when someone makes an amazing costume, they have to represent that and give it that much credit to a still picture, because that's just showing off their work. What I do, I really strive to create real life. Okay, sorry about that. Alright, so I really strive to create real life comic book art. Yep. And that way that that way I'm representing the character I've cosplayed and I'm also giving my work credence and doing another art form as well. I really love what I call still frame acting, doing the action poses and stuff like that. And that is my artwork, which I'm able to sell and thus when I sell my artwork I'm able to keep doing cosplay, which is very expensive. A lot of the stuff right. so there are ways to do it on a budget, which I do in panel, which I teach about in panels and stuff like that, um, I, you know, selling your artwork definitely is something to consider when you go into cosplay. Right. Uh, so do you find that fans, when they come over, obviously they're initially attracted to some of your wonderful outfits that you've been wearing throughout the weekend, but do they kind of get what you're trying to do with the prints, or do they just think of it more as like a pin-up? Um, well, again, some of the, it's, it's what I have on the table. Right. I really have to market each con a little differently. I do a lot of pin-up modeling, just basic modeling, and then I do a lot of action modeling as well. For this convention, this is more of the pin-up style, right. which I like to combine kind of like a, a casual look to Black Cat and Baroness here, which again, I do have more like this, but for this convention, I only had a couple here, which just is more of a family-friendly con, right. and though I do like that stuff, the it's not exactly the only thing that you're doing. Exactly, it's not. And I like to, to do a multitude of things. 
like I said to you, for this con, I think more of the action poses, more of the strong, empowering women female figure poses, such as Wonder Woman, right. are, are a great tool to bring to this convention. So I always, always recommend to, to fans and stuff, if they're going to get into this, um, to know your market and to the demographic and what to do. Okay. Um, and how would you uh, suggest people go about uh, searching into the market at either a particular convention or even just knowing what fans might be expecting from a particular cosplay? Um, like getting into the market and stuff like that? Uh, yeah, like it, when you're deciding on what outfit to build or how to style the outfit or how much to invest okay. in an outfit, like uh, where where do you, do you just go from your gut or do you do some research and see like what you think fans um, would be most attracted to? I always, I, it's different for everyone and of course okay. there are no rules. I always do recommend setting a budget because some people, and, and again the budget's going to be different for everyone, but say you're going to make a costume. You obviously want to have a connection to that character, and then say for your budget, don't spend over a hundred dollars on a costume, and pick a character that you have some sort of connection with, or that might even be a great suit for for the convention you're going on to. Okay. And would you have any advice to artists uh, who come to conventions with um, some of their uh, personal made items, either prints or um, uh, chotskis, that sort of thing, who are considering cosplaying, uh, like just uh, kind of casually to brand themselves as well as draw more people to their table? I have been to many conventions with artists. Um, you know, I've shared tables with artists. People at conventions love to see people in costume. Yep. Now, what the artists bring to the table and what they have set up is incredible. It's amazing. But a lot of the times when there's a lot of people, people will walk up to the person in costume. And so I think that if an artist were to dress up as a character, yeah. that would do so well. I've actually tried to get my artist friends to dress up, telling them and saying, hey, excuse me, hey, look, this would be amazing. People would do so much better in sales and just marketing in general if you were to dress up. I yeah. do recommend that artists consider dressing up. Maybe if it's even just a casual costume. Even, even I don't know, like a, a casual form of something or a simple costume. Just right. Something, something that really fans can recognize yes. in addition to your table exactly. items, you yourself. Yeah. Exactly. Something that they can recognize and connect with. And just to draw them in. It's definitely a good tool. Okay. And would you have any advice to someone who's considering going into uh, cosplaying semi-professionally? Um, make as many costumes, learn as many skills as you can. There are so many skills out there. Right. Use all so of beyond them. just sewing. Yes, there's sewing, armor making, leather work. You know. Is this styling. something you went to school for, or you've been teaching yourself? Well, I've um, I've always been kind of creative. I was an artist yeah. actually. I was a dancer. I was a musician, and I was always good with academics. So I, I've always been kind of that artistic type. And so when I started learning something, I became very passionate about it. And I taught myself how to sew. It was very difficult, but I really enjoyed it. And from there, I was just really interested in learning as much as I could because right. these characters cosplay is so much fun. And I recommend everyone cosplay. It is just. It's fantastic, and it's so rewarding in every kind of way. Like, okay. You just feel good about yourself, and it makes other people happy, and it makes <laughs> you happy. And it just always have fun doing it. When something becomes a job, and it becomes really, I don't know, agonizing to do something, that's when you've gone too far. So yeah. as long as you... So plan ahead. Exactly. Plan ahead always, and just make sure you always have fun with cosplay, and never forget your love for it. Okay. Um, so we talked about uh, some of the conventions that, that uh, you've considered going to. Do you have any particular conventions you're going to be doing in the future that we should know about? I do. I'm actually, I'm from Florida, of course, and okay. so I'm doing UltraCon in December, and that's going to be in Miami. I'm also going right. to Puerto Rico in January. Oh, wow. And is that your first international convention? Uh, actually, yes, it is. Great. Yeah, I've been over to California, but I haven't really been out of the country ever in my life, so oh, I'm very okay. happy about it. And the way, of course, the United States does own Puerto Rico. I don't yeah. need my passport, but <laughs> I'm still very excited. 
excited. Okay. And uh, where could we find your work online? You can go to my website. It's www.callycosplay.com. I'm also on all social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat even, uh, Xbox Live. Friend me there on Xbox One and Xbox 360. I love to play games online, especially Minecraft. I've gotten into recently. So yeah, all social media and Okay. And um, I, I also wanted to ask, uh, I know you do a lot of panels. Do you do different panels for different conventions, or you're just kind of building on the existing ones that you have? Yeah, that goes with, say, a costume or what you bring to the table when you go to a convention. Keep right. that market in mind. I personally would love to, every convention I go to, I would love to talk about anti-bullying and costuming on a budget, because those are somewhat universal topics that might work here, might work in Florida, and might work even on the West Coast in California. And I think that's something for a panel topic or, or something like that, picking a universal topic that a lot of people in a region can relate to, that's going to be what's good. Okay. Uh, yeah, that sounds great. So um, I feel like I had a few more questions for you, but they're not coming to mind right now. So thank you very much for the interview. I hope you had a good convention. Thank you so much.